Welcome back to Bologna for the start of the second stage. It will take the riders south from Emilia Romagna into Tuscany for a finish west of Florence. The 200 km route is not particularly demanding and so a sprinter will be hoping for victory. However, King of the Mountain points are up for grabs on three climbs and they will give hope to breakaway riders. The slopes of the Montalbano inside the final 50 kilometers could well decide the outcome. Any remaining sprinters will make light of the San Baron to climb and the 22 kilometers downhill to the finish in Fucecchio. What's up guys? Yes, your content. Chance. We are on stage two of the PSM League <coughs> for race number two at Super Giro d'Italia. We'll take a look at a recap of race one. Let's go to T Thomas over here. Let's go to Thomas over here. He's riding at the back. He has the pink jersey. He also has the purple jersey. But I think some. I think someone from his team borrowed the red jersey from him. I don't know who it is. But nonetheless, he got the he got the two. Some team managers two mustn't jersey. appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given Thomas that the pack has increased its trial. speed. Thomas won a time trial, so he is over he is up and at him. Let's take a look at if I can find this dude over here. Let's take a look at Latour over here. Latour. He apparently he holds the purple jersey because he has the stuff here. I'm not gonna do that. Gatter goes onto the attack. Right here, the Latour. Latour, who finished second place in the. in the most, basically the. time trial. There's more than a minute on the clock! The break seems to be working! The a couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack! They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group! As far as I'm concerned, a time trial. it was like a flat start, but it ended with a climb. So he didn't know, but let's go ahead, take our helicopter towards the breakaway because here you have it, the breakaway over here. As we take a look at the breakaway, we got Finetto and Ekhoff. Ekhoff finished, well, finished time trial in 166th place, so he needs to make a lot of ground. He's hoping that a breakaway comes in his way. A small group of riders are trying to get clear of the bunch. We saw three. We saw a three rider attack over here. Let's take a look at Finetto. Finetto finished 76th place. But let's take. But again, let's take a look at the young riders so far who finished third in the time trial. He is. By far, he is doing really well. He's doing really well. And I have a feeling that there will be greatness ahead of this. We will have to see. Now, he, right now he's at the top of the Young Riders, right now, he's still back at the Peloton, but let's go back to the breakaway and see how they're doing, right now. Finetto. The gap is widening, it's now he over talks. two minutes. Finetto the Peloton has like slowed down. right down, the teammates of those in the breakaway are not going to make an effort, it's up to the other teams to get their fingers out. Looks like Panetto is not doing really well as of late because he is just missing. It's messiness over here for him. But we'll have to see. 
here. We'll see who's getting beneficial right here. The first sprint is basically a mighty sprint. As you can tell by the profile, the sprint. Only top three gets the time, their time reduced, but five of them will get points. Let's see who's going to get those points. Top 5 will get those points. Let's take a look at Livingston. For the moment, the riders seem to be saving energy. From the time trial. I'm not surprised. He looks good over here. Turns out too many. But let's go over. If I can find his name. Let's go to Polichar over here. Polichar in the in the middle of the pack. He is trying so he's gonna see that after the after the time trial, we have to see if he's able to make it a beneficiary of fight. Let's see what happens here. As we as we go into the steeper climb. We're going to the steep climb here. That's right, we're going to the steep climb. Take a look at the helicopter here. You know what I mean. They, like they have to get to the climb. They seem to be losing ground. Well, not losing ground because it's basically it's just a hillside. But not the west. See, this goes with this one. We got the helicopter cam right here. Pogachar is in the midst of the helicopter. But right now, I want to take a look at Corte over here. Corte is hanging around at the pack. But that's not it because basically, once you go down, you go to another steep climb. As we take a look at the view. The pace is quite slow on this section. The riders are obviously okay. keeping something back. We should be in for quite a finish. Well, the riders are in a portion going, above 10%. They're going into more like a steep climb. Whoever can hold on to steep climb with their... It seems that Navarez is getting water for the team. We have to take a look at him real quick. He is... Right now he's going to... Give everybody some water. As you know. He's joined this show so far. We will have to see what happens. As we will follow the... We will have to follow the lead pack to see where they have ended up. They have a little bit lower to go. It's I tell you, judging by this 
elevation change. But they have a shorter climb, and then after that, they're going to a steep drop. <coughs> the steep drop is where it matters. The steep drop is where it matters. But let's take a look at the leader of the group to see how he's doing. We will see if they're able to do what they need to do here. The pack is reducing the advantage with every turn of the pedal! As we see here, here comes the steep part. Here comes the steep drop. The steep drop here. Take a look back at Peloton. Peloton is just really going at it right now. The Peloton seems to be there working together. I can see. Let's first and tell. That basically different aspects of the race over here. The pack really doesn't look interested in following the breakaway. Things have slowed right down. But we're getting near the sprints over here we'll see how things go we will be right back everybody we'll see how this all goes the helicopter we are here at Giro d'Italia for stage 2 of race 2 a symbolic kilometer PSM. as we go through the halfway stage of the race for the PSM league as we are halfway through the stage to everybody's liking, the Peloton has significantly increased its speed. However, we can see the Peloton. Let's take a look back at the Peloton. And the Peloton is coming back. The Peloton's come back. Let's go on to the ride. With one of, with the leader of the GC, Thomas. Will Thomas be able to hold the lead? We'll have to find out soon. As you know, remember, the points are important here. Top 3 gets the time cut off from the GC. And the more points you get, the better your chances at the PC, the points classifications. We'll just have to wait and see here. The pace is really hot, so for the moment, we shouldn't see too many attacks. Well, 
let's see here we go. They're approaching the sprint, the first sprint over here. That's where it's deeply in line. Let's take a look at the breakaway and see how they handle the sprint here. They're neck and neck. I believe they're gonna try to go over and see who's gonna win the sprint here. We'll just have to see. And how would it change? Because there are five kilometers remaining from there are five kilometers remaining from the sprint. And Hefley is a climbing sprint. So we'll see how that goes. So, this is the sprint. This is sprint. You had to go to Hefty Climb and then you do like so. And, let's take her to quarter. They'll have to go on a climb. Either they want to get aggressive or they want to save. Do they want to save their stamina? If they're able to save their stamina, then that would be crucial. But points matter at this point. Because the time, if you go first, you shave three seconds off. And the pack's deficit is being cut Minato back. The pack is increasing its work rate. Spread. Some teams can't be happy with when the breakaway. We're into the, the, the last third of the race. We'll Shaving soon know the final off. outcome. Trenton ends up with a third place with one second off. He shaved one second off from his actual time but I want to go and take a look I want to go ahead and take oh, a look oh the pace is too hot for certain riders Jose Hudex he's in last place after the after the time trial we'll see how the stage wraps up for him because he needs he needs to regain regain time fast He's back three minutes and forty-eight seconds from the lead from the leader. So we have to wait and see. Look, the pack has taken its foot off the gas. The team leaders can't be too worried about the breakaway. Now, it, basically, in order to conquer this one, either, either you want to sacrifice for your for the breakaway and just get to to the points, or Will you, are you willing to be able to actually wait it out until the final sprint? Time will tell. This is the first of the mountain sprint that we'll be holding. We'll take a look back at the leaders. The leaders here. He, I tell you, they're going for the sprint here. Can Finetto gain some more points here as eight points are up for grabs and it seems like he cannot this time. The pack is increasing as his Ekoff work rate. Some teams can't be happy the with the breakaway. Sprint. He wins the second sprint. But the question is, let's go back to the Peloton see who's going to win the last sprint. Oh my god. The last sprint. And it sounds like Grevin Neptunwigan gains 4.1 uh, won the last time shaving off of 1 second. But now, here comes the most steepest climb. The climbing The Who's going to receive the first points of the climb? We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the leader and see if he's gonna get it this time. Seven points goes to the winner with four. Goes and four points goes a to the A couple second. of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. To, they obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. Third place gets two points. And fourth place gets the one point climb. Take a look at the car pads. He is 
Counter-attack uh, by Romain Bardet. And he sprints away in attack. Or a pass here. Will the leaders hold on? We have to wait and see. As we take a look at the peloton. The peloton is closing in on the leaders. This There's a breakaway in the leading group. He broke from the pack like a greyhound. The the climb is very crucial. Who is going to win this climb and receive 7 points? It will take the lead in the climbing stage. And it seems like Fennato... There's a sustained rhythm at the climb. moment. Some riders definitely won't be able to keep Where's up. the first climbing stage? Climbing sprint here. Second place goes in. Carapace. And then Lorraine DeVries rounds off the top four of best climate classification. They'll, I tell you, after this climb, they'll have to they'll have a downhill, which they can actually regain stamina, regain everything that they need, and also they have the last climb. They have the last mountain climb over here, then a steep drop off, then some hills, and then after that, it will be a sprint to the finish. We will see what happened here. As you see, let's take a look as seven riders have dropped off. Ready riders are falling off the back. It's not a good moment to be going through a bad patch. The lead over the pack is dwindling. Oh, the breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Several riders are dropping like flies. But to mention, here's the climb. Carapaz is climb and pass. He might be. I think he might take over. As you can tell, Carapaz got two points. But three points are up for grabs this time. As you can tell. The Entente and the Escape Group is far from cordial. There are a couple of riders who want to do it alone. Trying to do it alone here. Will we see a fantastic finish? I don't know. But the Peloton is back at it again. So, it could be anyone's race in terms of the mount best mountain climb. Here we go. Who will be up to the task? Who will be up to the task, everybody? We will see what happens. Well, we can see that the pack is increasing the pace. Let's it's going to be difficult to break away now. Let's take a look at the climb. We take a look at the climb here. It's close. Ooh, who got that one? Rudy McLord. Three points. Hindley, two points, and Edwin, uh, Ewan, one point. But, enough of the... We are just 20 kilometers from the finish, so things should come down to a mass sprint for the line. Because, we see it downhill. <coughs> A steep downhill. We will see a steep downhill and we will figure out what's going to happen. One of the motorcyclists says that a rider is down. Apparently, he didn't interfere with the race. Angle is down. And he's in last. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. But we have to see. Main group peloton. Crazy.
to see here. We are now 10. There are just kilometers 10 kilometers left. Left of the stage. The pace is so high that a few riders are going to be very sore at the end of the day. The sprinters are positioning themselves up front. It'll probably be a mass sprint finish. There we go. And now, this is a mass sprint finish here. Will we see Destiny hold? Now, we'll see who Only five kilometers left. We'll see who we can left. I don't know who's going to win. We will win this one. It's getting close to the line here. Mollard. And we're down to the final sprint, everybody. There we go. The sprint is on. The riders are setting on. themselves up. Oh, my Lord. Demar wins it. Victory for Arno Demar. Demar wins. Stage two of... Superhero d'Italia. Oh my lord. My lord. We're oh. waiting for the tailenders who continue Air to arrive. Chris. Let's take a look at the final vendor here. I see a lot of people. Okay, race done. He goes off. We have to wonder who is left behind. We have to wonder who's left behind here. Down to the last three. <coughs> We've selected the following highlights for you. My lord. <coughs> what a race. But I hope you all enjoy as we take a look at the final race day conditions. Thomas with four seconds ahead. Will we see a change as he as he keeps the the PC and the GC? But it's Finetto taking. The best climber classification, but yeah, will we see something different as I had my eye on the last place and he did better, but will that continue? We'll hope to see you guys in the next race as the next race will actually determine what would the next race when might shape up will thomas be able to to retain his gc lead or will latour take over the lead with a four plus gap we'll see about that one this is champ signing off